I am um, very eagerly pushing our airlines that we need to start flying point to point. Government sets target to develop India as an aviation hub. I'm glad to hear, see and experience a lot of our domestic airlines, be it Air India or Vistara or Indigo or SpiceJet or a number of our airlines are now getting more and more wide-bodied aircraft. One of the things that we've done to make that uh, move somewhat easier uh, in the interim period is to, uh, from the ministry's side, we've actually extended the wet lease option period uh, which was earlier three plus three to more, uh, more like six plus six months. We are in talks with uh, uh, two or three airlines and an airport to be able to look at the creation of a hub in India. Air France KLM's new distribution content is now live on Travelport Plus. Vietnam plans to offer special incentives for Indian weddings. At the embassy, uh, we we trying to facilitate a big group, especially the big wedding, Indian wedding. Uh, we used to uh, facilitate to a big wedding of 700 and 650 uh, participants in 2019, and we we plan to continue if we receive the offer from the Indian couple. Singapore Tourism Board with Singapore Airlines and Scoot acknowledged their industry partners in India. Glad to inform you that uh, in 2022, we had 686,000 Indian visitors to Singapore, which is almost hitting 50% of what we achieved in 2019 of 1.4 million. We spent quite a bit of time um, focusing on India. We've spent a lot of time um, making sure that capacity is back into India. Um, and if you look at SIA as a, as a company and as a global network, uh, India was one of the first countries to receive um, the capacity injection that we had asked for. So I have four points tonight. Congratulations, thank you, fun, and Excelsior.